Hi YouTube and welcome to the latest video coming to you from all things Hitman. My name is Reaper One. Guys, it is super early. It's about seven in the morning. As some of you might know, um, I've been staying in Tuscany for the last ten days, and uh, we've only got two more days to go until we're going back to Florence, and then we're flying out of Italy for good. So I wanted to do something very special uh, in our last few days here, and that is to visit a very special place. Um, a town called Venazza, which is on the northwest coast of Italy, and it is actually the town that inspired IO Interactive to create the level of Sapienza, which is arguably the most popular and best level from Hitman 2016 or Hitman Season 1. Now, um, now it might not have been the town that inspired them, but it certainly was the town that they modelled the level off. So, if you're subscribed to this channel, if you're watching this video, you're most likely a member of the Hitman community, and uh, you're going to want to. You, you, I'm, uh, I'm assuming most of you are going to be intrigued as to what this town is like, what it looks like, um, and I'm really happy to be able to bring you guys along. Now, it's actually about a three-hour drive away, so it is going to take a while to get there. Um, but you know, I think it'll be worth seeing this town. It's obviously uh, not only a very pretty place, but it's been instrumental in creating what, what's come to be one of the best Hitman levels ever created. So, uh, let's get underway. We thought it best to go to a local town called Lavanto that is close to Venazza because it is too busy to park at Venazza itself. From Lavanto we were able to get a train straight to Venazza. On the way there we were incredibly careful not to hit any cyclists, unlike some local florist fans. Okay guys, so we finally made it to Lavanto. Now we have to pay for parking, buy a train ticket and hopefully it won't take too long to, uh, to get to Venazza. Uh, the time is now 10 past 11, so it took us about <laughs> three hours to get here, uh, but hopefully it won't take much longer to get to Venazza itself. Let's go! A one-way ticket will cost you four euro. Hey guys, well I'm happy to say we made it to Sapienza, aka Venazza, in one piece. Um, we're going to have a walk around the town, see if we can see any familiar landmarks that are in the town that feature in the game, Hitman 2016. Um, but before we do that, I'm just going to turn the, the camera around so that you can actually see uh, the harbour of Venazza, or the little port, and actually see how similar it is to uh, the, the level of Sapienza in the game. Let me just turn the camera around. So you can see immediately, it is freaking similar. So, you've got the, the beach just down there, you've got the church just beside it with the bell tower, you've even got the fort in the background there, beautiful buildings, and you've got all the boats where 47 can exit the mission. Fortunately there's no, um, there's actually no lighthouse out there like in the game, but that's all good. And obviously uh, there's no mansion belonging to Silvio Caruso, but aside from those main differences, it is bloody similar and uh, yeah, it is absolutely beautiful here. Um, couldn't have asked for better weather. It's ridiculously crowded with tourists, but that's to be expected. It's, you know, this is peak season, early July and uh, yeah, it's tourist season here. I'd love to be here when it's a bit quieter, quieter at a quieter time of year. Um, anyway, anyway, you can see how IO uh, we're inspired by such a beautiful town to create it, turn it into a Hitman level. Um, so let's venture down there and have a closer look at a few things. And as I said, I'll try and uh, look out for landmarks that feature in the town that also feature in the game and compare them. Okay, let's go. Just like Sapienza, Venazza sits on the beautiful Italian coast in a natural inlet that overlooks a beautiful harbour. The surrounding mountainside contains vertically built olive and grape groves that look like rice paddies when looked on from afar. The most immediate similarities between Venazza and Sapienza are the narrow and crowded laneways descending to the beach, the square overlooking the sea, tourists enjoying the local eateries, the beach itself, 
the long pier of motorboats, caves within the cliffs, the old fort, Rocco's apartment, pipes used by 47 to traverse his environment, as well as the church adjacent to the beach. Let's take a closer look at two of the key landmarks within Minatsa and compare them to their counterparts in the game. Let's begin with the church. Just like the game, it has a bell tower that serves as a prime sniper vantage point for 47. Inside, the church houses a similar interior of worship. It even has a confession booth on the left. I wasn't game enough to look inside to see if 47 had smuggled anything in. Outside the main entrance, the well is replaced by a beautiful mosaic. Notably absent are the funeral home and graveyard. However, the train runs directly behind the church in their place, which would make for a nice accident kill. Amazingly, the church even had an arched underground access point, just like in the game. Let's move on to the old fort. Despite having the 17th century cannons replaced with viewing binoculars and the armed sentry with the ticket lady, costs €1.50 to get up there by the way, the fort still provides spectacular views of the town itself. From here, Caruso's mansion as well as the piazza in front of it, two extremely memorable landmarks from the game, are regrettably non-existent. However, you can get a brilliant view of a hidden beach that lies in their place, the entrance to which may have been Io's inspiration for the underground ether lab. Well there you go guys, uh, that's Sapienza in real life, aka Venazza. Um, if you ever get a chance to come to Italy and your budget allows it, I'd highly recommend hiring a car to come down here. It's absolutely beautiful and also if you are a huge Hitman fan like I am, it is a pretty cool experience uh, experiencing Sapienza in real life, basically. You can see here, I'll just turn the camera around again, I'm sitting down at the beach. The water looks so enticing and I'm about to head in there. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Reaper One out. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.